What's up guys, Andrew aka the Glocktopus here with Glocktopus Reviews and this week I'm bringing you a review on the Rise Armament 434 High Performance Trigger. If you guys want to see more cool drop-in trigger reviews like this, go ahead and like and subscribe to my pages on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Let's get started. All right, guys, we're gonna get into this tabletop review of the Rise Armament 434 High Performance Trigger. As always, guys, before working on your weapons or dry fire practice, make sure that you have your ammunition in a separate room and that you do have a clear weapon. Um, the magazine that we have here on the table is clear and empty. And then also the weapon, we're doing a safety check. And as you can see here, we have a clear chamber. I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble this weapon so we can get to the lower and get into talking about this trigger. All right guys, as you can see here on the Rise Armament 434, um, it's a very nice flat blade. It's not so much a curved blade or flat blade, it's just got a slight curve to it, but I like the way that it's actually machined. It's really, really comfortable. It's not a sharp edge here on the front. It, it actually has a roll to it, as you can see there. Really, really cool, and really nice that they milled it this way. We're gonna do a little bit of an overview on this trigger. Um, this is dropped into my Foxtrot mic, um, Gen 2 lower with a Picatinny on the back. So, First off with the trigger, this is a single stage trigger system, which is really, really nice because it helps you shoot more accurately when you're trying to shoot faster. Um, it's got a very, very short reset. I'm gonna try and get that on camera for you guys. Just like the Rise Armament 535, the 434 is super duper short reset as you can see there. And one more time. Very, very nice reset. Um, there is no over travel. It says that there's low over travel in their description for the trigger itself. But when pulling, as soon as you pull, I don't feel any more over travel to the back once there is a, a tactile break in the trigger. So it's really, really, really nice. Um, the internal parts of the trigger are coated in a friction reducing nickel boron coating. Really, really nice. It helps the trigger operate really smoothly and nicely. Um, they advertise the trigger pull on this trigger at three and a half pounds, which is a lightened trigger pull from, from a lot of the other triggers on the market. Three, three and a half pounds is really nice and crispy. Um, there's a couple other manufacturers that that have triggers that are lighter and right around the three and a half pound mark. Um, there is a lightened hammer on this, as you can see. They do mill out some of the side of the hammer, just is some weight savings for you and helps this hammer travel faster, not a lot of mass traveling. Um, it does have a drop safety feature on the inside and it is a self-contained unit. So you don't have to have any special tools to install this trigger into your gun, which is really nice guys. It's inside of a black anodized cassette housing. That's, I believe it's an 8625 hard coat anodization. Really, really nice. It looks good. Um, you can't see it here through the lower right now, but on the side of the cassette, it's got the laser engraving of the Rise logo, which looks pretty cool. Um, the entire unit weight outside of the lower receiver itself is going to be 2.4 ounces. Um, it's manufactured in their facility in Oklahoma. As I've stated before in other reviews, it is an AS9100 aerospace requirement that is there in their factory so it's really really nice that they have strict manufacturing requirements um, this is cnc machined from high grade heat treated tool steel 
again with the aluminum cassette on the outside. This fits on most of your 308 and 223 AR platforms. So if you're looking to drop this in on one of your AR style platforms, guys, you shouldn't have an issue. Um, it does come with its own pins and screws here on the outside so you don't have to find any anti-walk pins which is really nice with this drop-in trigger system if you do have any issues with it which i suspect you won't they do have a lifetime guarantee that rise armament gives with their products if you have any problems you can go ahead and contact them over at help at risearmament.com or you can go over to their website risearmament.com and they have all of their contact information listed so if you guys have any issues, like I said, you shouldn't have any issues, go ahead and get in contact with them and they will take care of you as soon as possible. One thing I do have to note with this trigger, as with a lot of the triggers guys that I do review, there is going to be this set screw that's down here in the middle, right behind the hammer. That set screw is not to be tampered with. If you guys mess with that, that's gonna go ahead and void your warranty from Rise. Um, they, they set this at the factory for a certain height for the hammer, so just don't mess with that, guys. Um, if you do mess with it and you end up having to send your trigger back, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be aware of it and they're gonna void your warranty, so keep that in mind, guys. The next step I'm gonna move into with this trigger is we're gonna go ahead and break out our Wheeler Engineering trigger pull gauge here, and I'm gonna mount the lower onto my homemade test bench block here. And we're gonna do a series of trigger pulls on the trigger with the gauge and get an average of what the pull weight actually is. Again, guys, this is not scientific super laboratory equipment. This is a Wheeler Engineering pretty nice gunsmithing tool. Um, but keep in mind that this isn't a controlled environment. Um, this is a homemade rig. So I'm gonna get you an average or number that is pretty close to what this trigger actually is. So I'm gonna get this mounted up here and then we're gonna go ahead and move on. All right guys, now that I've got this mounted into my homemade test bench, we're gonna go ahead and turn this Wheeler engineering gauge on. As always, it's gonna display right here on the top the pounds and then ounces of the trigger pull. And then we're gonna get an average here down in the bottom corner. I'm gonna do eight trigger pulls just to get a solid average on what this is. And once we get that, it'll show up down here. I don't have to do any math, which is super awesome. Again, you guys know I hate math. It's not one of my fortes. I do like guns and I do like finding out what trigger averages are though. So let's get into this. The first trigger pull is going to be two pounds, 15 ounces, two pounds, 15 ounces. We'll go ahead and enter that and reset the trigger. Three pounds, 2.7 ounces. Two pounds, nine, 9.3 ounces. Two pounds, 10 ounces. Two pounds, 11.3 ounces. Three pounds, 4.5 ounces. I'm gonna go ahead and reset this here. Three pounds, 1.9 ounces. Two pounds, 12 ounces. So I'm not getting a consistent pull on the middle of the trigger. The closer you get to the fulcrum, the bottom of the trigger, the lighter the trigger pull seems to be. We're gonna try and get that right back into the middle. Three pounds, 3.4 ounces. And let's get one more in here, guys. Three pounds, nine ounces. 
and we hit enter and that guys is going to give us a solid average as you see down there in the corner of a three pound trigger pull. Um, the thing I find out with Rise Armament Triggers, they do list them at 3.5 pounds, but for some reason when I test them out, they come out a little under, which is okay with me. They're right at three, um, but it's really, really nice. A three pound trigger pull on this trigger is really, really nice and smooth. Just being able to quickly get right back into pulling the trigger, like I've said before, guys, with the reset on this. Super, super insanely short. Just like the 535. The only difference I would say between this and the 535 is the 535 is going to be just a, it's a tad more buttery, um, more of a smooth action on the inside. I would say it's just a tad faster reset, just a little shorter. It's probably microscopic and I can't really measure it for you guys. Um, but this reset on the 434 is super tactile and nice. Um, next up, what we're gonna do is go ahead and get this packed up, take it down to the range, and try and do some, uh, do some quick shots, see how quick we can get them, and show you how this single stage trigger from Rise Armament operates. And once we do that, we'll come back and I'll give you my solid rating and review on this trigger. guys welcome back from the range i'm going to go ahead and give you my solid rating and review on this trigger it's going to be a 7.5 out of eight glocktopus arms for the rise armament 434 hpt it's a really really nice trigger as we talked about in the tabletop review guys this thing's coated in the nickel boron coating which makes for a really really smooth operation um, really nice it's a super short reset as you saw with zero over travel which gets you right back into shooting super quick um, the crisp break between three pounds and three and a half pounds is also nice as well i love the feel of the blade as you've seen it's not not fully the curved blade but the flat blade as we talked about and that's also one of my favorites as well it's really really comfortable for my finger when i'm grabbing the trigger um, if you guys want to know where to pick one of these up you can go ahead and click the link in description or link in bio that's going to take you over to my link tree or glocktopusreviews.com once you're there you can go ahead and scroll down i'm going to have a couple links one for brownells.com the other one for rise you can click those and it'll take you over to their page where you can scoop up a rise trigger if you guys have any questions or concerns about what you've seen in the video today, go ahead and leave those down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you guys like these reviews, go ahead and give it a thumbs up on Instagram and YouTube. That'll help me out with the algorithm and get my video out to more people. If you guys wanna see more reviews like this, go ahead and like and subscribe to my pages on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. On Instagram and YouTube, make sure you're clicking the notification icon. That's gonna be the bell icon up at the corner. That'll help get all of my newest content over to you as quick as possible. As always guys, stay healthy, stay safe. Check you guys later.